been around for a little while and is gaining momentum, uh, in other words, a popular piece of software. Um, so what I've done is I've actually downloaded it and added it to my account. So uh, what we're going to do is take a look. At, um, take a look because uh, you've got to do the free trial to uh, you know access the actual software and uh, the free the free trial you've got to add a credit card etc so it's not for everybody so if we open up uh, the photoshop lightroom uh, it's actually it's actually quite pleasant i like the uh, the dark i like the darker um, theme uh, it's asking me to pop in a sample photo but i i think I don't particularly want to do that. What I want to do is uh, go to the learn, which I've done. Uh, lots of uh, samples here showing you uh, how they've edited photos. And for some of them, from, for me, the, the, the difference is not substantial. Uh, but if you're interest, if you have an interest in photography and uh, a, like a keen interest, then uh, I, I guess Lightroom will be uh, right up your street because uh, it allows you to tweak the photos uh, in so many different ways it's untrue so I, I had a look around this morning and I picked some of their samples and as you can see now what they're doing here on my top right they're showing how to adjust various elements and there's loads of tutorials and advice to show you how to get the best or how to maximize and advise you on on the photos um, so it's a brilliant piece of software brilliant little package um, if you have a, a good interest in photography and you're keen to develop um, the uh, you know the studio uh, environment and, and learn basically how to manipulate uh, digital uh, photographs um, you can see here what i'm doing i'm just messing around with this one uh, i think the aim was to lighten up the uh, area around the subject and uh, yeah it's uh, well it's an eye-opener for me in that I don't think I've used software that uh, provides so many options to change uh, temperature I've no idea what it does I can see the visually what it does they're working on it there just adjusting the temperature changes the, the coloring a little bit uh, when it comes to what are we looking at now detail sharpening uh, yeah I again uh, it's these these are excellent options I guess uh, if you're uh, it's sorry um, th these are definite um, definitely good options if you're a keen photographer um, so yeah th th I mean what more do you want? You want to be able to change it. Uh, do You can do a lot to the photographs. That's all I can say. I'm not a photographer and I don't use this kind of software. Uh, but there's great examples here and there's lots of tutorials. So Lightroom uh, is going to give you loads to do or loads to think about. And of course, uh, as you can sh see there, beginner, intermediate, advanced. So there's lessons uh, for everybody and there's loads of samples to play with. What's nice, I guess, is uh, what they're showing you uh, before and after. So uh, you can add your own photos or you can take their photos. But uh, as I say, I didn't add, add photos in the, in the end. I merely looked at uh, their own. And uh, I, uh, I'm looking at the examples and I'm not, I'm not, well, I, I, I'm not seeing huge differences but i i guess you can look at this one with the that's the blue so that piqued my interest enough to do uh, to opt for the tutorial on this one and this one i took a, a more uh well, i took a better interest and focused a bit more so what they're going to do here is change the background and uh still so have a little look at what they do uh so we go through each element so <clears throat> So they're looking at creating a black and white. So uh, we've done the black and white. And that's just me now uh, playing around here. Go back up shortly and uh, do what's expected. In other words, follow the tutorial. So the tutorial is very good. You got this blue circle here. 
which is showing you what it is I'm supposed to do. And uh, that, that's useful. Uh, so, follow the, follow the tutorial. Uh, so on contrast, yeah, Ooh, that's a big one, whatever that, whatever that done. And then uh, highlights, let's see what they want me to do. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, uh, that's a good run. Sorry, I'm focusing here. I'm just taking on board loads of stuff at the same time here. Uh, I realize I've got to be sliding uh, the dot on highlights. And then, what are we doing, are we doing on whites? Um, black and white image, it's easy to assume, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's okay. So you're getting lots of tips and advice as you're going through it. Uh, now down the bottom, uh, I'm using a black and white mixer uh, palette and little adjustments again. Now I'm look, looking at the photo. I'm not necessarily, they, you know, the adjustments are not jumping out at me. Clearly, uh, they're having a an, an, an effect, uh, and that will become clear towards towards the end when we look at the before and after. If assuming we can see it. Uh, color grading, again, uh, not something I'm familiar with, but um, I guess, um, let me have a little look here, I, uh, oh, okay, yeah, so these are tools, again, you're going to have to play with over and over to get a grasp of what they can do. I mean, I, I, I can look at a photo and uh, I can say, well, okay, uh, it's too dark, it's too light, but beyond that, um, I'm not sure uh, what else I can do. So they're they're looking at doing color grading, uh, and changing the the coloring of the photo. Uh, I'd be more interested in, I suppose, you know, popping the backgrounds out, swapping the background, uh, you know, popping someone else or something else into the photo. Those kind of adjustments, uh, and uh, maybe go for the fakes you know get a celebrity head and pop pop it on that those are the kind of uh, silly things i'd be more more like more likely to be interested so now we're looking at uh, masks and uh, they're attempting to show me how to uh, create a mask so we draw a little uh, a little circle or something like a circle resembling a circle and then it shows us how to stretch so yeah no it's excellent the the software is excellent for showing you uh, I'm getting the hang of it now so I, I understand I need to stretch it to the original twist it turn it a little and they're showing me uh, again how to do that um, yeah that's quite useful so I guess what we're going to do is we're going to apply something to this particular section. Um, a gradient. I'm going to apply something to the mask. What, what are we doing? We're taking highlights. Okay. Uh, whites. Again, it's lots of uh, tiny movements uh, to create the image or to create the effect. Uh, again, I'm not seeing a huge difference here on what, what it was originally. So now we'll do another mask on the left. And this time now I'll be much quicker to set it up uh, because I've already learned. And uh, that's the beauty of the software, I suppose. It teaches you quite quickly how to apply um, so we're doing highlights, uh, whites, and create a new mask. Yeah, why not? Uh, software is directing, so we're going to create a new mask for the head. Okay, let's see how quick I am now. Yeah, I've got that. Um, and what are we going to do? We've got a feather. Okay, I'm completely out of my comfort level here. Uh, exposure, change it a bit. Shadows, change it a bit. Um, again, uh, in the effects, uh, make a few alterations there. 
and then um, I think we must be done for sure. We must be done on this photo, or almost done. Um, well, it looks like a good photo, and uh, but I, I, to be honest, I, I, I really can't see the difference between the, the original one. But um, so that's just me. Right, let's get back and look at the uh, uh, some of these samples or examples and pick something that maybe uh, will have a wider appeal. So start the tutorial. So each um, sample has a tutorial because there's obviously th there's obvious there's things to learn, I guess. Uh, removing all the color from the photo that should be simple enough. Just click on the black and white. Uh, yeah, there you go. I mean. Uh, you don't need Lightroom to do that uh, to change a, to change an image from uh, color to black and white. Okay, highlights, shadows, a little bit of tweaking. This is basic stuff, and I mean, this is on. I, I've seen loads of uh, free and open source uh, photographic software that does most of this. Uh, so I don't even know why I'm paying Lightroom. Uh, for the facility but I guess there'll be little bits and pieces that uh, won't be available to me on you know uh, cheaper or standard or free open source software but I think I'd be uh, getting as much out of those first and learning about photography than I would be uh, keen to uh, take out a subscription for Lightroom however if you're you know, if if that's your thing and you're you're really focusing on photography, then uh, it does seem like uh, the business, as in, I don't think you can get something that's even that has more options for changing uh, or altering or improving uh, graphics. Um, so we're back on the on the color and the color grading here. Yeah, we got all the different colors and. Uh, I remember you highlight those. Um, you can, I mean, I didn't realize you get so many colors on a black and white image that you can actually, uh, you know, uh, apply or tweak or change. Color grading is interesting uh, when you consider it's a black and meant to be a black and white image. Uh, the luminance, that's quite nice. It's a lovely image. It's a really lovely image. Uh, uh, Jeanette. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> how was your experience? Yeah, that was quite fun. Okay, I think we're going to do another one, and then uh, that's it. Yeah, it's over to you after that. Uh, you can draw your own conclusions as to whether it's something you want to put your money on. It's a pity they, the free trial is so short, and it's also a pity that they, uh, you know, they don't have different versions for different usage. So if you're a professional photographer, clearly you'll have, probably Photoshop or something similar, maybe Photopea, which is even better. I'm a big fan of that particular one. But uh, Lightroom, I, I, I don't know where this comes in, um, but I guess um, it must be a demand for it because uh, this one ranks very high in the uh, search algorithm. So I had a look at it and, there's, you know, a lot of people are looking for it. So I, clearly there is a demand, especially uh, now that social media is so big that there is a demand for just tweaking the images. Now, this one I played with. I played a little apply. I remember playing with it <coughs> a little bit. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's actually, uh, this completely changed the image. The tweaks did. Uh, just, well, yeah, I cropped it and I changed the image substantially from the original image. So let's let, let's see how it works out. Um, so the thing is, as you, as you go through these um, these various uh, template or photographs that they have, with the showing the before and after, and then showing you how to go from A to B, uh, how to get from one end to the other, on the right, they're, they're quite brilliant because. Um, like I say, you're going to pick up something uh, different perhaps on most of these photographs, which means that by the time you've done maybe 20 or 10 or 20 photos, you're really starting to uh, grasp the concepts of, uh, of Lightroom and uh, what it's all about. So uh, 
as you can see, I'm uh, absolutely have no knowledge here. So uh, I'm amateur, absolute amateur. So I'm moving things around here uh, just to explore. I'm exploring. That's what I'm doing. And I thought I and because it's subject to the free trial and having to go behind the scenes to see what it was all about, I thought it's fair game. I thought oh, let's do a little video on it so that uh, we can uh, Sh you know, uh, sh show people as in uh, what go what's going on and as to whether it's worth the risk of putting your credit card on and uh, ending up paying a year's subscription. Got to be careful with Adobe, that, and that I know. But um, so now that I've checked out the subscription, I'm going to cancel the plan because I, I really don't need it. Uh, and for that, you basically go to uh, manage and then you're going to pop your password in again to make sure it's you uh, that's okay we can do that we just have to go get it and uh, <clears throat> the idea is if you my, my view has always been if you take out a free trial it's for seven days you want to kill it as soon as you can unless you're really uh, definitely going to keep the software but don't don't let it run over that's the best advice I can give you so right not the right product for me change my plan no no thanks don't want to change it I want to delete it I want to cancel it so here we are the trial will end immediately and you lose seven days of free access yeah I've seen enough of it right Again, it's a no thank you. So to certainly make loads of effort uh, to try and uh, put you off cancelling. It's about the third page, isn't it? Um, what do you expect when you cancel? Uh -huh. Yeah, no, my storage will be reduced. Yeah, no, that's, that's going to really hurt. Confirm. Okay, where are we? Yeah, we done. Sorry that the subscription didn't suit your needs, so I'm all cancelled. Your plan was cancelled, and a confirmation email has been sent. That's what I want to see. So at the end of the day, um, as I say, I'm not a big fan of any company that wants you to put a credit card on just to see their products. So I'm just kind of coming back. I do have a managed plan with uh, Adobe, um, but I don't need this one. Uh, brilliant. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.